What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Life Orb Kieran White team alongside with Super Luck Absol. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. Anybody who views the videos, subscribes to the channel, or even drops a like. Seriously, thank you guys so much. But getting started with this team, you guys already know we're starting off in that top left corner with our Restricted Mon. We have Kiram White with that Turbo Blaze ability and Life Orb as its item so it does more damage. Dragon and Ice type with Blizzard and Draco Meteor for stab. Earth Power for a coverage move and Protect as our final move. Right next to him, we have Regilecki with Transistor and Magnet item, Thunderbolt, Electroweb for speed control, and Volt switch to pivot out, and of course, Protect as our final move. Middle left is a very, very strong Pokemon. Metagross, you cannot go wrong with him. We got Clear Body on him, so his stats can't be lowered. Weakness Policy, so if we can proc that, we can get rolling out and absolutely dominate the battle. Then we have his normal move set of Protect, Ice Punch, Meteor Mash, and Stomp at Dantrum. It's crazy how this move set is like his normal move set. But nobody gives him a psychic move. It's kind of weird because psychic would be stabbed, but everybody always rocks out with a similar move set to this. But what can I say? Wim's got in our next spot. We have the focus dash and the prankster ability, so we get first turn priority with support moves. We have Moonblast, Taunt, Helping Hand, and Tailwind. So we taunt support Pokemon, Helping Hand, our ally Pokemon, Tailwind to get that speed boost, and Moonblast as just our little attacking move. Bottom left corner is going to be Incineroar. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. Intimidate ability, Citrus Berry to give it more HP when we drop below half. Flare Blitz, Darkest Lair, Fake Out, and Parting Shot to lower stats. Then in our final spot is a Pokemon we haven't really used on the channel. I think I used him like once or twice, but that was way back. We got Absol over here with Super Luck ability, so we get more crits. Scope Lens for our item, so we get an even bigger chance to get crits. Night Slash for our stat move. Close Combat, Play Rough, and Stone Edge all for our coverage. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some winning records with this Kieran White and Absol team. First battle coming at you guys, and we have to try to do better than we did yesterday. And I don't think that's possible because yesterday's video was amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's a Porygon Z team alongside with Ho-Oh and Dragapult. We went 3-0 and we dominated every single battle. But hopefully, we can make up for it by going 3-0 in this video. I don't know. We're going up against a tough team here. He has a Kyogre team alongside with Shed Ninja. And I haven't seen some people use this team, and it looks kind of scary. He also has Gudra, Tapu Fini, uh, Raichu, who can fake out, Volt Switch, all that good stuff. And he has Galissapod. Alright, I see you. I see you. How do I want to roll out with this one? I kind of want to get Regilecki out here, or I can go for this Tailwind right here, get buzzing with that. I could go Whimscott into Regilecki. That's not too bad. I mean, he does have, uh... He does have What's It Called, which I don't like. He does have, a uh, Lightning Rod with that Raichu. I think I'm just gonna leave my Kiram. Kiram, Kyram, however you want to pronounce it. Metagross, and then I think I'm gonna break Super Luck Absol in the back. I do dig that. I am digging that. Where do I lead Absol? I mean, Absol's not bad. We're gonna get rolling with this. Alright. Let's get buzzed with that. Okay, the thing is, I know Shed Ninja has that ability. He has he sits at 1 HP, but his ability is like he can't die unless it's like super effective move. Something along those lines. But I'm wondering if you can KO him through a buffet. Because I would just, in that case, I just drop ice and let the buffet take him out. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to see. We're going to see if we can get rolling here. But guys, let me know if question of the day. Didn't even ask this yet. But what are your thoughts on Series 9? Series 9 is going to be coming out May 1st once this month ends. And I think all the restricted mods are gone. I think that's how it's going to work. I think all the restricted mods are going to be out of here. And we're going to go back to uh, different stuff. But I'm not sure about the full uh, rule set. So if you guys do know the rules, let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm prepared and ready for Series 9. But we're going to get started here by Tailwind. I think Tailwind is going to be 100% to play. And I could drop an EP. I could Earth Power, but I think I gotta get off as much damage as I possibly can. Or I can just change up weather. I could change up weather, and I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna Tailwind, change up the weather here so the Drizzle is gone, and do as much damage as I can to the Raichu slot. Hopefully we can bring it down to the Sash, and then get the Buffets on it. Well, let's just see. He could Nuzzle, he can Fake Out. Which I think he might Fake Out and go for an Ice Beam. And just try to take out my Moonscott. It would be a Power move. I'm hoping maybe he swaps Kyogre, and we can see what he does from there. But again, the Pokemon that I'm most scared of, even though Kyogre's a big threat, is going to be that shit ninja, because I just don't know what it's going to do. But he does swap Kyogre, and he's going to go into who? Who's he going to go into? The boy. He's going into the boy, and I think he's going to fake out my Whimscott. And in that case, I think we're fine. I don't know. Like, what do I do? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm terrified, actually. But I'm hoping the Ice Buffets can just take that thing out. 
I don't know how Shen Ninja really works. I know him just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. But yo, Kyron White looks so sick. He looks so sick. He has like these flares coming out of his back. He does not fake me out, so I wonder if he's going for a nuzzle. I really do. Oh, is he going for an eerie impulse? He might be going for an eerie impulse, which kind of scares me. Let's see, but let's see how this does. They bring it down to the sash. Buffets will take that out. Don't show me an eerie impulse. We get a crit. You love crits. We love crits. We have, we have super luck absolute for crits. Don't you dare go for the eerie impulse. Don't do me dirty like that. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Okay, he's gonna nuzzle. Alright, I, I think I think nuzzle is better than an eerie impulse, especially on my Dynamax mod. But I dig that. We only paralyze. Whimscott gets buffet. Raichu's definitely gonna go down. And what's going on with the Shen Ninja? I wanna see what's going on with this thing. If he does not take buffets. I'm terrified of this thing. I really am. I don't like this thing one bit. I don't like this thing one bit. I think he was trying to make a read so I can actually hit into that Shen Ninja and waste a Dynamax turn. That was his plan. He's gonna send out. Is it gonna be Kyrie coming back out? It's gonna be Tapu Finn. But the Finsters is coming out here. Which I mean, I'm fine with. I might taunt that thing. Just so it can't set up a combine. mine. Hmm. I couldn't moon blast into it. Uh, let me give me give me one second. Let me go into the info real quick and check out this boy right here. Just send ninja. I thought it was gonna tell me his ability. He's bugging ghost. I believe we have to hit it with a super effective move. Like right? That's how it works. Could taunt. We already have a talent set up. I think I'm going to taunt you. And I don't think I can do anything to you. I really don't think I can do anything to him, except for Absol maybe coming in late game. So I think we just start focusing on that left slot. We might ally switch and pester around. I think I'm just gonna quake. Is that what he's gonna do? I really don't like this. I don't like this shit, Ninja. I I saw this team before, but I never faced off against it. Actually, I faced off against it once, but he didn't bring Shed Ninja. Shed Ninja the pain. I believe he might just ally switch in this case. I'm gonna try to get a special defense boost and see how we can roll from there. But it's scary. I, I'm not liking this. <laughs> so Taunt's gonna do absolutely nothing. We should. Oh wait, he's gonna ally switch. Can we taunt this bug? Can we taunt this bug. Yes. We taunt the bug. Okay, that's good. I'm paralyzed, so it didn't really matter that turn. So we taunt the bug. Starfall's gonna come out here. Can we eat? Can we eat this one turn? I think we might be able to. Yeah. We're pretty bulky. We're pretty bulky. So he gets no stat boost from that, which is dandy. Everyone's gonna take buffets besides the little shed bug. And this thing is leftovers. Okay. So we see that this thing is leftovers. He's gonna have weather control later in the match. Um. I think I just helping hand at this point. Might drop ice. Oh, uh, quick is probably your best bet. You can't ally switch, so I wonder what the bug is gonna do. Now that he is taunted up, is he gonna struggle? Does he have a hitting move? I really do wonder what he what he can do now. There's my helping hand. We're gonna get the special defense boost, which is gonna be lovely. We still outspeed. It's a better tailwind, but the special defense boost is gonna help out these guys survive a little bit longer here. But I'm confused. Bug, Shed Ninja, what you doing, dog? Struggling? Are you gonna kill yourself? Like, what's going on here? Here goes the Starfall, which we should be able to eat up again, which is just dandy. Tasty snacky out there. Special defense boost helping us out, and we're wasting out Dynamax turns. I'm gonna use Poltergeist. And he's gonna murder me? I survive. I don't. I. I this thing is. This thing's killing me, man. This thing is killing me. Cause I believe you had to hit him with a super effective move. And I don't just want to attack it. I really don't just want to attack it. All right, let's get rolling here. Guess we'll go for a moon blast. Guess we'll double up into this thing. I drop a blizzard, maybe try to get a freeze on these guys. It's gonna be 100% hitting. I'm gonna drop an EP. Let me just drop a blizzard. We're gonna look for some freezes here. We are gonna look for some freezes here. Moon blast comes out, doing some damage. Show me some freezes, and I'm paralyzed. That's two out of three. That's whack. That's whack. Starfall's gonna come through here. Go after Kirim. Nope, one's got eat eat it. Alright, one's got survived. But I think Tailwind's gonna end this turn. Oh, you're gonna take me out. Oh, you buttery biscuit, man. Eat this up, Lindsay. Dude, this thing is annoying me. Not even lying. This thing is a 
This thing's bothering me. Well, bits of the hail is coming out here. This thing's left it. Ah, man. How many turns left Tailwind? I think it's gone. Yep, Tailwind's gone. That's tough news. Uh, let's check speeds out. 122 and 127. I think we both outspeed Finny here. And the thing is, we're going to need Absol out here. In order to KO that, uh, the Shininja, I think. Is he still taunting? I think he's still taunting. I think he still has one more turn left to taunt. So we got to take him out right here, right now. Yep, there goes Dynamax turns. What's called is not faster anymore. Like hear him. This slash should be super effective. Yes. So we're bringing that out. Again, I still have the Metagross, which is pretty nice. And I think I just drop an EP here. Or do I go for a Blizzard? I think we just try to get off as much. Actually, I could protect. Actually, she's probably just going to go for like a Muddy Water. Let's go with that. Let's go with this. And I wish I knew Shed Ninja speed, dude. This is a cool battle, though. I I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's a pretty long one, but hey, we get to show, show off something cool. We got Absolute chilling. And he's going to swap out Shed Ninja. Back out for the Kyogre. So he's going to try. Okay. I might swap out my Absol here then. Because I 100% need Absol in order to uh, win this game. I need Absol to win this game. So nice slash coming out here. You want some nice damage, yo. You love to see it. You get a crit. Oh, yo, dude. The super luck and all this boost is coming in hot. And I cannot swap him now. I cannot swap now because we're dead. Oh, my lord. I don't like that one bit. Now, if Kyogre outspeeds, that's GG. Dude, Shed Ninja is crazy. I'm thinking that I might have to show off this team in, a, in another video soon because I know where I know where I can get the code at, which is dope. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like me to use this team. Metagross is going to come out here. Smart swap by him. I just need to outspeed. If I can outspeed, we pretty much can maybe win this game. Hmm. We'll go for a play rough here. Let's try to do as much damage as we possibly can. Again, we need to take out you. Actually, I can just do this. I think, uh... Actually, no, because Metagross is slower, right? How fast is Metagross? I think Metagross is slower than Axel, right? Actually, 122. I think we're still faster than Top of Finny. So I'm thinking of just going for another Night Slash here, taking you out, and then going for a Meteor Mash, and potentially taking you out. As long as Kyogre doesn't outspeed us all. But if he does his game, yep, he has to be Saul. That's GG's, man. That's GG's. What a, what a cool battle, though. What a cool battle. Absol's going to drop down here. Metagross is going to take some big damage. But I need my Absol outspeed. And I did need that Tailwind. So if we could have got off another Tailwind, we probably would have won this game. This Meteor Mash would have been able to do a decent amount of damage here. Actually, we weren't taking out you anyway. And Muddy Water would have took out the Absol. Man, dude. Getting bodied by a Shed Ninja. That's a first. That is a first. But we start off 0-1 up against a very, very strong team. And we're going to hop into our second battle and look for our first win. Looking for our first win in battle number two. Going up against a Zassian team. Surprise, surprise. With Regilecki, Dragapult, Tapu Fini, Amoongus, and Intimidate and Sinor. I feel like I need to take speed here. Get buzzing. He does have Electro Web to kind of pester around on me. And uh, slow me down. But I think we're fine with going into Wimscott. And roll from there. I think we need Intimidate Incineroar, Incineroar in the back end. I think we might leave Hiram again. Hiram's not bad. Hiram does decent work. We go with the Metagross. The Metagross is not bad at all here. Metagross, yeah. We do have Clear Body. I could lead it. I could maybe lead this and bring in Incineroar. I think we might go Metagross, Incineroar, and Kirim. But my real question is who do I want to lead? Is it going to be the Kirim or the Metagross? Who does Jeans want to lead? I, mean, I feel like Kiram's just a better option. Let me go Kiram here. We are special attacking, so Intimidate won't really affect us. And we have, we have Clear Body anyway, but definitely want to bring that Instant War and roll from there. But the thing, is, the thing that I'm looking at is we have an Ice move for that Dragapult. Ground move for that Regilecki. Uh, what else do we have? We have the uh, Ice move for the Moongus. The Dragon Stab will get an attack drop as well, which is huge. So, I'm, I'm thinking Kirim's, Kirim's the way to go. Because the weakness policy isn't a guaranteed weakness policy prod. And we have that guaranteed life orb damage rolling out. But he's going to lead the Regilecki and Amoonga. So, I think he's looking for a Spore and maybe slow us down here. Um, I think I can just go for a free Taunt here. And Taunt onto that Amoonga. And just dump on that Regilecki, no problem. Right? I think that's going to be play. That's play.
We're gonna just drop an Earth Power and not even Dynamax here. I said we don't even Dynamax. I think we're fine without Dynamaxing. I think his turn is fine. He's gonna protect Amoongus. That's totally fine. I think he's gonna try to slow us down. All comes out. It gets blocked. A smart little protect. And he's gonna E Web and slow us both down. Okay, I'm cool with that. I can tell him whenever I want. But I really want to get off this taunt here. It was a speed drop. But EP is going to come out here. And I think we should be able to pick up KO. Even though it's coverage move. This thing's lightweight. He's going to bring out the Sash. Alright, so this thing does bring out the Sash. I think we still... I think we drop a Blizzard here. And we still taunt up on this thing. And hope that the Blizzard hits this thing. So we're going to taunt here. And we are going to Blizzard. Because I, I don't want to deal with the Sleep Powders and all that stuff. Just not dealing with it. Taunt comes out. There we go. Get taunt up. He might E-Web me again. Which I'll just tail when he counteract that next turn. Yep, another Electro Web comes out here. And I need to land this Blizzard, at least on the Regilecki. More importantly than the Moongus. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Come on, Blizzard. Come on, Blizzard. Blizzard comes out. Who avoid it? Who avoid it? Just the Moongus? Just the Moongus? Yes, okay, that's fine. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally fine with that. The Moongus dodges it, but we take out the Regilecki, more importantly. Sludge Bomb coming through. Oh, yo, he knew we were taunting. He knew we were taunting, and we don't get off a Tailwind. You buttery biscuit. How you gonna do me dirty like that? How you gonna do me dirty like that? Um. I'm gonna go start a Cinnamor. What do I think he's gonna bring out? I mean, I'm gonna bring Metagross. If he brings out a physical attacker, then I just swap my Kiram and get my speed back. Yep, now I'm gonna swap Kiram and we're gonna roll from there. Alright, I'm cool with it. Metagross is gonna get the Dynamax here. He can't rage powder. He can just sludge bomb onto me. I could start boosting my defense if that's the case. Which might be the play. Start boosting the defense for the squad. And I could protect this turn. But I know we can't Dynamax. Nah, I'd rather, I'd rather just swap you. Get instant aura out here. Get that intimidate drop and roll from there. Because I know my main man, Amoongus, over there isn't doing anything for a couple turns. Well, I think he has two more turns left in the tournament, so... You can kind of get my uh, my Sinnoh out here, drop some Flare Blitzes, get that defense boost and attack drop onto that Zacian, and go from there. And hopefully we can get out here, let him proc my policy, and then potentially just dominate this battle. Because we know how hard this Zacian can hit. Kind of scary how hard it can hit. Big old Intimidate coming out. We might eventually end up swapping Zacian, but this one's going to be a good battle. I love how shiny Amoongus. Oh, he's going to swap the Amoongus. That's fine by me. Into who? Into Dragapult. Okay, I do have an ice move for him. In that case. And that's going to be his Dynamax Mon. I might just go after next turn. With a with a Hailstorm. But that thing could be Policy. Or it could be Orb. I don't know. But the cool thing about Amoongus is. So it's normal form. It is red. For a Pokeball. And when it's shiny, it turns purple for the Master Ball. I think that is such a cool little touch for his uh, shiny. That's what makes his shiny so cool. But he is going to end up subbing. Okay. Going to end up subbing. We're going to get a defense boost here. Which I dig. Take off his sub. Take off his little subby lubby lub lub. And then I'm going to drop ice onto the pole. I'm going to drop ice onto the pole. We might end up swapping the uh, Zassian here. But I'm still dropping ice over on you. I could Darkest Slayer, but I think I'm just going to Flare Blitz. Pose a threat onto the Zacian slot. Start doing damage. Let's see what these, these guys' plays are. I think he's going to Dynamax the Dragapult. It's like his last Dynamax Mon. I still have Kyurem in the back. That could be good. It could be bad. I don't know. We're going to have to see. This battle is going to be good. Win or lose. We're playing really good today, I think. I think that first battle, we just got thrown off by that Ninja team. That was really, really tough. And then this battle is just a close battle. Like, we're sitting uh, decently high in Master Vault here. We're up in uh, 4... I think I was at 4.7 after that loss. 4,700. We're going to end up with Jaw and Zacian. Bring back out the Moongus. So, Moongus is going to take this Flare Blitz. We're going to be able to do some damage off onto him. And are you going to Dynamax the Pole? I think Pole Dynamax coming out. Yep. Pole is getting a Dynamax. All right, so we're boosted plus one on defense. I think he's going to get after my... Uh, my what's it called? My Metagross. The Dragapult is going to be fastest. We might end up getting after my, uh, my what's it called? 
I need Cinnamore. I still have a berry. And Wormwind's gonna come out here, which is just gonna get an attack drop onto my what's it called? My Incineroar slot. Gonna take a little bit of, bit of damage, but we are gonna eat up, which is pretty important. There's my Citrus Berry, which makes me feel like I can eat up another shot. How much did that do to us? It brought us down to 63, so it did about, oh, it did about like 120. I don't like. Here goes a Hailstorm. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Decent amount. I'm digging it. If I had Darkest Lair, we could have doubled up into it and picked up the KO. Dang, man. There's my Flare Blitz. We getting it. Bang. Alright. Not bad damage. Okay, so. This is my bad part about, about this. Is. My one bad thing right now is going to be. He's going to be able to take out my. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what I can do here. Because he's going to be able to take out my, uh, my what's it called? Actually, let's do this. Let's take out Amoongus here. I am going to take out Amoongus, probably with a Steel Spike. Get a defense boost and pick up that KO. For the sheer fact, I think he's going to take out my Dragapult with my, with the, or he's going to take out my Incineroar with the Dragapult and then just get a free Spore up. So I think getting these defense boosts is going to be the play. And trying to get off this uh, part or Darkest Slayer over on that slot. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what the play is. Rage Powder is going to slide over. Cool. That's I kind of was doing that anyway. Here goes his Worm win. And yeah, he was taking me out. I just, did, I just did not want to go to sleep there. so Because that would have guaranteed me the loss. Attack drop. We're clear body. So we're thriving here. We don't have to worry about that. And we get another defense piece, which I really, really like. So we're going to be able to take out you. And it comes down to a 2v2. A Metagross is plus 2 on defense. But Azacian is going to come out here get another plus 1 boost onto the attack. And I'm kind of scared. I am kind of scared of this. He might set up a sub next turn. Which I can totally see happening. We got to get out my boy Kirim. We got to get him out here. Hmm. All right. This is tough. This is real tough. This is real tough right here. Because he has speed advantage. We never got off for Tailwind. Turbo Boy's coming out of here. Blah, blah, blah. That dumb ability. Okay. What am I going to do? Dynamax turns. Oh, does he have one more? He has one more. What does Jeans do? What do I do here? Go for Stomp and him. But I think we have the Ice Punch over on you. And I might protect my Kiram here. This is so tough. Actually, I think our play is going to be probably go for a meteor mash. I go for a stomping tantrum. We go for a stomping tantrum over on you, and we try to drop a blizzard. Well, blizzard will hit here. Actually, my Kiram just survived. Phantasm coming out here. Better if my Metagross. Metagross should be able to eat fine. Yes. We eat. Kiram, I need you eating here. I need you eating here, Kiram. Defense is dropping. There goes my policy, dude. Let's go. Let's go, peeps. You're saying there's chance. Sacred Sword comes out here. Oh, you're doubling up. Oh, we almost ate that. We almost ate that. Blizzard's going to connect here. We need a freeze. We need a freeze out here. We need a freeze on his ass. Give it to me. Give it to me. Show me the freeze. It's not freezing. Oh my lord, yo. What a battle. What a battle here. No way. No way. Alright. Comes down to this. Comes down to this. Is this thing a... He's fair. Yeah, I was going to say, can we drop a meteor? We cannot. Uh, Earth powers are play. We need him to miss. We need him to miss. Eat it up. Eat it up. Yo, say that's tasty snack. Eat it up, Kiram. Eat it up, buddy. He's not eating up. That's GG's. No one eats up Behemoth Blades. Super effective, too. Oh, my lord. Yo, what a battle. What a battle. We start off 0-2, but I feel like we got to show off this team really, really well. We went up against two strong meta teams, and did I win? Maybe I get the win. I'll let you guys know in a little, but 
a little bit, but we're going to hop into our third and final battle and look to get our first legitimate win. Technically, we lost that last battle. His Zacian took out my Kyurem right at the end there, and then he disconnected. But on my win board, we got an extra win, and my rank went up. So technically, we won. But technically, we lost? We take those. We take those either way. We're hopping into our third and final battle. I will say we're sitting at 0-2 because... Technically, like I said, we lost that battle. But hopefully we pick up our first legitimate win. He's got a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Urshifu, Whimsicott, Thunderous, Indeedee, and Incineroar. All right. Um, I got to get Tailwind. Let's get Tailwind. Let's try to take speed advantage here. He has Whimsicott, so he can go Tailwind. Incineroar, you're not coming in here considering he can, uh, he can, what's it called? He is defiant on his team. Uh, do I lead the Kirim? I think Kirim's not too bad here. Not too shabby shibby. Metagross isn't bad either. I'm liking them all. I'm liking them all. We go Regilek. He just try to get some speed control. Definitely want to bring Absol in. I think we're gonna lead. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We're gonna lead Metagross here. Let's get Metagross, Absol, and Kyurem. Run it, run it, baby, run it. I actually think we should have led the Absol, just in case he throws that Indeedee out. We could just Night Slash it up. Let's actually picked up the KO. But yeah, what? Like I think those first two battles were our best losing battles. Like, we played decently well. Like, we played solid. They were just all, like, coming down to the wire. But my favorite battle was that first one. Like, that Shen Ninja is so, so amazing. I love how he's using it. But he goes Calyrex, Shadow Rider, and Whimsy Poo. And Whimsy Poo. So I might protect this turn and taunt. I think I might protect this turn and taunt. I'm going to taunt and then just drop a nice little lovely little protect. Hopefully I win that and he and we get off a taunt before he gets off a tail one. That would be that would be ideal. That's what I'm looking for. And I can protect Wim's cock can sash up, then we can tailwind and roll from there. So he doesn't have tailwind and we can start we can start buzzing and getting after that Calyrex. But I am wondering who who has the sash. Both these Pokemon can hold a sash and roll from there. I'm thinking it's probably the Wimscott. We need to on Dynamax. All right, I see. You. I see, you, man. We got Dynamax here. He's gonna start Rimnay probably when he gets a chance. But he's going after my my Meta, my Metagross. Chill on me, man. Chill on my Metagross. But I do need to get rid of this uh, Wimscott because if I can take Speed Advantage later, we can potentially win this game. Metagross protects. Mwah. Big shield coming out here. Big shield. My taunt comes out. Over here. You're not allowed to tail him, buddy. You are not allowed to tail him. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, he can't taunt after my taunt. Get out of my face. Then drop us on my meta. Now you're able to eat. Now we're going to tail win, And I am going to try to get off a nice, nice little shot on these Pokemon. Guess that defense drop. There goes my weakness policy. So, hey, you better watch out. You better watch out here. I'm coming for you. I'm going to hit up on this Calyrex. I need to do as much damage as I possibly can. The so Tailwind's going to come out here now, or I mean not Tailwind. No, he's taunted. He can't taunt me anymore. What am I saying? Uh, Meteor Mash can come out here. He's super effective up against that, but I think uh, Meteor Mash is going to be the play over onto the Calyrex slot. Because it is Stab. And we are weak to policy. I'm trying to do as much damage as I possibly can over on this thing. I don't know which draw the one's got. That's a fine turn by me, and he's going to go into Indeedy. He's gonna go into Indeedee. That's totally fine. The nice big Meteor Mash is coming out here. Which I love. Unless Calyrex protects. See, Calyrex could max guard this turn. That would be that would be ideal play. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate it. Good play. What's smart? What's smart cookie play? But we are wasting off Dynamax Change, which I really, really like. Which I do really like. Uh now is helping hand gonna be the play? I think we just helping hand here. And we go for a medium mash over into this slot. If he brings it over, then he brings it over. With the follow me. Let's just see what he does. Because like I said, we have Tailwind. And this is his last sign next turn. Helping hand comes out. Show me you're not following me. Give me, give me a little, little light here. Let's see what you got. Yep, follow me. Follow me. Coming out. So a nice little swap from here. He's trying to just protect up on this Calyrex. But we might be able to take out Indeed here with this big old meteor mash. Plus two. Get that from our weakest policy. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. And we get an attack boost. Ooh. Ooh. 
So we're saving our Kirim for our Dynamax, and here comes another Phantasm. Or no, he's gonna Quake for that special defense boost. Come on, Cookie Play, go after Wimscott. Nope. Goes after Metagross, and he gets that special defense boost. Alright, so he's boosting up. Um, I think he's gonna bring back out Wimscott. But it might just taunt up. Just hit him with a taunt, and he's gonna Grim Nate boost. I don't like this one bit. And I think we just bring out Absol. I think we bring out Absol here. Try to get off a Night Slash. Because again, we are Tailwind. I really, really like it. And if he brings out Wimscott, we're going to try to taunt up on again. Yeah, yo, well, we're coming for you. Yo, we're not letting you do your moves today. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. You could protect. I'm going for a Night Slash. We're Tailwind. I'm coming back for you. Right? Taunts away. Taunts away again, right? Let me see. Yeah, he swaps, so taunt's gone. Wait, do we have a Tailwind? We should have a Tailwind, right? Let me check it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Taunt coming out here. I'm coming for you, dude. Yeah, and we brought out big guns. We brought out big guns with Absol right here. Coming in for a Night Slash. If, this, if we get off a Night Slash, this thing's dead. So we're playing is We should go first, because if it's a speed tie, we should be fine. Yeah, swap that coward. Get it out of my face. Get out of my face and show me that Irish feel. Yeah. Get it out of my face. I'm not dealing with this. Taunting you. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about Circuit Terrain. Bad play by Jeans. So, a nice slash gonna come out here. And we still have a Dynamax. Give me a crit. Show me a crit. Not very effective. That might have been a crit still. It is a crit. Lovely. Alright. Uh, play is going to be definitely Moonblast over onto the Urshfu. Hmm. The play rough as well. Good protect. Wish I had a protect here. Uh, we are going to play rough as well in case the Moonblast does not take out. Moonblast comes out. Can this Moonblast take out? It might be able to. I think it hits like a truck. Yes. Okay. We get rid of that thing. So that thing's gone. We still have our Kirim in the back for Dynamax, which is lovely. And Whip Scott's going to go for a Moonblast. Probably on my absolute slot, right? Yeah. Absolutely no. Why you got to go down like that? <laughs> uh, tailwind ends. But we can get off another Tailwind because the Psychic Terrain is out here. You can't taunt me. And I still have my lovely little Dynamax. My lovely, beautiful Dynamax that I saved just for this instance. Still scared of the Calyrex. Don't like that one bit. Kiram's coming out. And we have to set up another Tailwind. Alright. Run it. Run it. We're not allowed to eat berries, but good thing none of my Pokemons have berries. Turbo Blaze is out here. And what does Turbo Blaze do again? I believe it does something that, like, we don't even use. Let's see. Uh, Turbo Blaze. Moves can be used on the target. Oh, no. It does do something. Okay, that's lovely. Like, Mimikyu's absolutely get dumped on by this thing. I dig it. Alright, we're gonna fight. I think my Tailwind's gone. I gotta make sure. Uh, check. Yeah, Tailwind's gone. So, let's set it up while we have this terrain going. So we're gonna do that. And I am gonna Dynamax. And do I... Lizard or Hailstorm or do I I think Hailstorm's gonna be play. Just start getting Buffets out. I think it's gonna be play. Drop it on the Calyrex slot. Try to do it. Try to get rid of this thing. If we can get rid of this thing, it's pretty much game. We play this one pretty well. Besides the Taunt and the Psyche Terrain. I forgot that uh that affects it. I am digging this. I am digging this right now. There's who came out here. But dude, the, the Women's Gods pick up a double KO. How about that? Whims my Wimscott took out his Urshfu, and his Wimscott took out my Absol. That's pretty cool. I think it's dope. Tailwind's popping here. We're getting our speed back, and we should have our Tailwind for the rest of the game. He's going to go for an Expanding Force, which Wimscott sashes up. Kiram's chilling, and we should be fine here. I think we should be fine. I think we, I think we take out Calyrex here. Moonblast comes out. Ooh, actually, ooh. This one's going to be a little tough here. I might guard this turn. I actually might guard this turn. What happens here? Calyrex gone. All right, Calyrex is gone. Wimscott is gonna start taking buffets. Oh no, my Wimscott goes down. Not my whimsy. Well, I think we lost this one. No way. No way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wimscott, chill on me. Chill on me, Wimscott. How many turns left in his tailwind? Don't show me two. 
Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get that tailwind out of my face. Now we have tailwind advantage. Now we are faster. Now we coming in hot. Like that play, guys. You guys like that play, don't you? You like that play, don't you? Give me that win. Give me that win. Big old max guard to wait out that tailwind. We take speed advantage and we pick up that win. Let's go, guys. One and two for today's video. Awesome set of battles all around. And we ended up picking up that win in that final battle. Ended up going one and two for today's video. Technically two and one if you're counting that win that the guy disconnected from. But personally, I think we went one and two. But I think this team was very, very strong all around. The first and second battle were awesome battles. I wish we were able to pick up a win in one of them. But we ended up losing just by a little bit. But then that third and final battle, we rocked out, made a great play at the end, and picking up that W. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.